But on this date, whether it's day or night, we're going to talk about bones. I'm Dr. Fizzbob, and we've got a super simple yet neato experiment today, or night. Could you imagine what it would be like if there was no sun? If the sky was always cold and dark? Well, at the very beginning of time, that's how it was. At least, until God spoke. He said, let there be light. And you know what? There was light. A short time later, the fourth day in fact, he made the sun, the stars, and the moon. Stupendous! Now, imagine if there was no night. I, for one, would have a very tough time sleeping, even if my dinosaur curtains were pulled tight. But thankfully, God did create both day and night. He made a perfect system to keep our surroundings lit and warm sometimes, and cool and dark at other times. Here's a fascinating fizz fact. Did you know that there are days where the sun never sets in places like Finland, Sweden, Canada, Russia, Norway, and Iceland? Even in Alaska in the United States. These places also experience days of total darkness, where the sun never rises. Wow! In our experiment, we're going to learn about how the Earth's rotation causes day and night. All right, here we go! Today at Fizzbot Labs, I'm assisted by Elsie and Kinley. Let's get started. First, the Fizzlebop supply list. We need masking tape, a large ball, soccer or a basketball works best, permanent marker, flashlight, dark room, which you'll see in just a moment, two lab assistants, a small ball, a tennis or a baseball works best. Okay, now that we've gathered our supplies, let's get to the experiment. First, we need to tear off four one inch or 2.5 centimeter pieces of tape. Awesome! Now, we're gonna space the pieces of tape equally around the large ball. It's okay for this experiment if the locations are approximate which means to get close. Wondrous! If this were a globe, we'd be putting the tape around the equator. Now, we're going to write A on one piece of tape, B on another, C on another, and D on the last piece. These will be our coordinates. Magnificent! Next, place the underside of the ball on your palm. This ball represents the Earth. Now, while leaving the flashlight off, we're going to have one person aim it at the ball and be ready to turn it on. The flashlight represents the sun. We'll need to have the third person, me in this case, turn off the lights in the room. Now, the person holding the flashlight should say, let there be light, and turn on the flashlight. Let there be light! We'll rotate the ball left to right, counterclockwise, so a different letter is now in the brightness of the flashlight. Note what is happening to each piece of tape as we rotate the ball. Is it moving into darkness or is it moving into light? While still holding the large ball, Earth, we'll pick up the small ball, which represents the moon. Keep the flashlight pointed at the same spot on the Earth and move the moon counterclockwise in a circle around the Earth. Note the shadows cast by each ball. Are they the same size? Wasn't that marvelous? I hope you'll snap a picture and post it online so I can see the results of your experiment. Tag us at Fizzlebop Labs and use hashtag Fizzlebop. Dr. Fizzlebop, what's happening? Well, what I like most about this experiment is that we get to see it play out every day. Every 24 hours, the Earth rotates, which is another way to say spins. The location you're at moves away from the sun and goes from day to dusk to night. But the earth continues to rotate, so night turns to dawn and then day. The sun itself never dims. 
When we brought the small ball representing the moon into the experiment, we saw Earth's shadow cast upon it. We'll be learning about the moon in another experiment. It's time to collect our data. You can record this under this experiment in Faith and Science with Dr. Fizzleboff on page 10 or in your Fizzleboff Labs notebook. Which coordinates or letters on the globe are in the light at the beginning of the experiment? Which coordinates were lit when you rotated the globe? Does the moon become darker when you move it to certain locations? That's it. I hope you'll share some pictures of your experiment by tagging at Fizzabop Labs and using hashtag Fizzabop. Thanks for joining us here at Fizzabop Labs. We hope you had as fantastic time as we did. Join us here each week for a new experiment. Thank <laughs> you.